Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak, a YouTube channel to help people to cook every day. And my goal is to show you a cooking system that is practical and efficient. It is neither trendy nor expensive. All you need is an ounce of curiosity and creativity. And this will give you control of the food that you eat, so you know what you are putting into your body. Now, cooking is in the gene of our human species, but we must find a way for it to fit in our modern life. I developed the fast cooking system so that it will in sync with how we work and play. And if you feel that you could not find time to cook each day, then this cooking system could be a solution for you. A fast is the acronym of this cooking system that will help you to remember its four attributes. Which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. I post a video each day to help you to learn and to adopt the system, so that each time when you walk into the kitchen, you have the confidence and conviction that home cooking is your destination. And with this cooking system, you will be guided by your intuition and fueled by your creativity. Uh, this cooking system has transformed my life, and I believe that it will transform your life. Uh, this channel is a labor of love, uh, the love for the human race. We are in a crossroad of human history, where food is more harming than nourishing. And my channel is not saying anything new, from what many people have already been saying. If you want to spare yourself from future misery, uh, go back to your kitchen and make your meal from scratch. It is might seem simple and straightforward on the surface, but it is difficult and challenging in the core. A traditional cooking is designed for the past, uh, before cell phones and internet. And now we need a cooking system that is practical and efficient, for it to compete with fast and processed food. It is a system that cooking could not be viewed as a chore. Or rather, it is an activity that is creative and pleasurable. It is also a system that you will continue to grow as a cook, and to create the best flavor in the dish that you love and enjoy. And this video is a demonstration of the four attributes that is central in the execution of the fast cooking system. Uh, this dish is practical and efficient, uh, which you can cook in less than six minutes. I cook this dish with a specific outcome in mind that's not guided by a lengthy recipe, but by intuition. I cook this dish using template-based cooking, which brings fun and creativity into your cooking. Uh, to be able to cook this dish efficiently in six minutes. By prepping the chicken in advance, make this possible. Uh, this dish is made with chicken breast. I cut them up as soon as I brought them back from the supermarket. Uh, by freezing the chicken in a thin layer, they could be thawed out readily. Uh, Foiling the chicken in a bowl of lukewarm water, uh, they are ready to in ten minutes to go into the wok. Uh, for this dish, I want to create a light breading. Uh, to achieve this, I coat the chicken with one tablespoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of sugar, and quarter teaspoon of garlic pepper. I'm going to start by adding two tablespoon of canola oil uh, into my cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok, uh, just enough to cover the flat surface area of the wok. Uh, in a modern lifestyle, home cooking requires the utmost efficiency, and stir frying. Is a method that is most efficient, and by cutting the food ingredients into size that can cook quickly, it is possible to cook most dishes in about five minutes on average. And when you combine advanced prepping, uh, you can cook an entire meal from scratch in less than fifteen minutes. Uh, yes, uh, you can warm up a frozen meal or a frozen pizza. Uh, in about the same amount of time, and you don't have to cook. Of course, there is a trade-off, and then you have to decide uh, what might work best for you. Uh, for me, the decision is simple because I want to know what I put into my body. 
Also, I can choose the ingredients that I want to put into the dish, as well as how I'm going to season the dish. And by now, the oil is heated up and it starts to smoke. I'm going to let it smoke for about 15 seconds gently, and this is my spot seasoning method uh, to season the wok. Uh, this will create a non-stick cooked surface on the wok and prevents food from sticking to it. I use about 8 oz of chicken to cook this dish, which is the size of the package that I prepare. I'm eating chicken less and less, and there are many reasons for me to reduce my consumption. I still enjoy having chicken in my dish, but I start using them sparingly and more as a condiment. Uh, the chicken will provide me with flavor and texture to a dish where vegetable uh, remain to be the primary ingredients. I used to enjoy chicken very much, now it has become more as an afterthought. I cook this chicken using a method known as shallow frying uh, to create a light and crispy breading. I prefer cornstarch over flour. I can use less and it is more crispy. A shadow frying has a distinct advantage. It needs far less oil to do the job. A pair of long handle tongs is good to have on hand because it allows me to turn the chicken with efficiency. Because the chicken pieces are thinly sliced, the cooking time is very much reduced. And this shallow frying method is a good compromise. It creates chicken pieces with a grilled flavor. It took about 90 seconds to fry the chicken, and now it is about 90% done. And to create a more nutritional chicken dish, I'm going to add some frozen vegetables to the dish. And this is a frozen vegetable mix with several different kinds of vegetables in the mix. I create this frozen vegetable mix uh, first by adding some frozen edamame. Edamame is a flavorful soybean, and it is also a good source of plant protein. Uh, to make cooking the dish simpler and more efficient, the frozen vegetable go directly from freezer to the wok. Since the vegetable has already been cooked, all they need to do is to be warm enough to be served. And there are some burnt ingredients on the surface of the wok, which make later cleaning hard. And by adding to the wok a small amount of water, which quickly turns into steam. And using the wok spatula as a scraper, they could be easily removed. I call this method spot cleaning, because you are cleaning right at the spot. At the same time, you return the flavor back to the dish. I'm going to season this dish with a combination of oyster and hoisin sauce. With 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce and 2 tablespoons of hoisin sauce. And to enhance the flavor of this dish, I'm welcoming 1 teaspoon of hot chili in oil sauce. And this is how I'm going to start flavoring this dish, to create a basic teriyaki flavor. And by this time, I have turned off the heat and start cleaning the rest of the burnt material. Uh, to avoid diluting the flavor of the dish, only small amount of water is added. Having a squeezed water bottle on hand, you will never regret. Uh, the thickness of the sauce is just right, and the dish is looking good. Uh, flavoring a dish is a form of an art reflecting your creativity and individuality. Our flavor preference is never static. It changes with our emotion and with time. We will always look for new flavor experience, and that's why I call this flavor chasing. By this time, the heat is off, and cooking of this dish has come to an end. However, I continue to adjust the flavor of the dish, to create the perfect flavor that I want. Each time when I cook a dish, it is like I am telling a story. I have some idea of what this story is going to be. Based on my past experience, I know how it is going to start. But like all stories, things change along the way. I cook the dish guided by my intuition but it is the creativity that brings the story to its end. 
A distinction is a new and novel creation because the combination of the ingredients is new to this dish. A this dish is an example of a template-based cooking, uh, with the basic template that is familiar to me. A this dish is an application of the fast cooking system, with infinite possibilities and variations. A wood fast and processed food seem inferior if you can cook like this. And with processed food now fading into the distant memory, I'm now able to cook the food that I enjoy as well as good for me. And so please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to learn more about my fast cooking system. And keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.